The most expansive Street Fighter single player mode ever is finally here as we explore World Tour mode in Street Fighter 6. We've gone through and found the locations of all 17 unlockable masters as well as the necessary steps to access them. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll waste no more time jumping right in with the first master, Chun-Li. Chun-Li is the first master you'll run into after Luke springs you loose into the world of Metro City. You'll encounter Chun-Li in Chapter 2-1 by heading over to this location at the entrance to Chinatown. Simply getting here will trigger a cutscene that will take your character over to where Chun-Li is and initiate the sequence where you'll learn her style. Marissa is the second master you'll run into during your playthrough world tour, and you'll encounter her during Chapter 3-3. You'll first need to meet with counterfeiter Leonardo in the downtown south area to start the search for the bag quest. Use this junk as a platform to climb up this wall and gain access to where Leonardo is waiting. He'll send you on a quest to gather leather for a counterfeit purse, and you'll achieve this by defeating two nearby Mad Gear gang members both named Roughest Rider. After defeating the pair of riders, return to Leonardo and he'll give you a plane ticket that will automatically transport you to Italy where you'll encounter Marissa. Fight her, and then win or lose, speak to her again and she'll teach you her style. Master number three is Lily, and you'll find her during chapter 4-1. Lily is purely optional and must be accessed via the side quest called the Spirit Guide. From Beat Square, find the Spirit Guide on your map and head to its location where you'll find an NPC named Anna. Speak to her and initiate the quest, then head to Chinatown and find the Mad Gear box head named Zemo. Fight and defeat him, then return to Ana and you'll unlock the Thunderfoot settlement in Mexico on your world map. Fly there and you'll meet Lily, whom you'll fight and can then talk to again to acquire her style. Once you get to Chapter 6-1, Luke will open up two new travel destinations for you to go to, Ranger's Hut in Brazil and Bather's Beach in Jamaica, so that you can collect a souvenir for him from both. Simply pull up your world map once you've reached 6-1 and both of these locations will unlock. Head over to Ranger's Hut and you'll run into Blanca during a sequence of cutscenes. He'll give you the Blanca Chan suit and teach you his moves so that you can help him out with social media marketing. You don't even have to fight him, simply walk up to him again after the initial cutscenes play out and you'll learn his style. Traveling to Bather's Beach initiates a cutscene in which DJ calls you out for not smiling enough at his music festival and the two of you engage in a friendly battle. Once the fight is concluded, approach him again, persistently ask to be his student, and you'll learn his special moves as well. The next master, Cammy, doesn't appear until Chapter 7-1 and is the trickiest yet to find. Luke will give you a Metro Free Pass so you can access the subway, which is right in the Central Beat Square area. The first time you enter the subway, you'll be automatically pulled aside by a shady character named Alfred, who will request you take out a gang that's been terrorizing the downtown area. This will initiate the Special Unit Dell quest, which you can activate from the pause menu and then head downtown to find and defeat five Mad Gear dancers. There are groups of these Mad Gear dancers scattered about the area and you'll have to engage with a couple of them in order to get to five. After taking them out, head back to the subway and talk to Alfred once again, who will then give you a ticket to fly to King Street in England. As per the usual, access your map, go specifically to your world map, and then head to King Street. Once here, you'll encounter Cammy, whom you can speak to, fight, and then learn a few new moves from.
Manal awaits in chapter 7-3, but you'll need to jump through a few hoops to get to her. First, speak to an NPC named Manager Oscar, who will be standing right in front of the large red staircase in the middle of Beat Square. Oscar will give you a new mission titled Extra, in which you'll need to acquire and put on a judo gi. Getting the gi is fairly easy as the clothing store drip and style is literally right next to you at this point. Head inside and purchase the gi bottoms for 5,000 zenny and the gi top for 5,800 zenny. With both equipped, head back outside and talk to Oscar, who will take you with him to France. Enter Manon via an elegant cutscene as she's in the midst of shooting a movie. And before you'll be able to speak with her, you'll have to prove yourself by fending off three nearby extras. Once you do this, Manon will appear and you can finally fight her. She's a tough opponent, but after the battle, she'll teach you her style. Master Ken Masters awaits you next in Chapter 8-3 as part of the elusive former National Champ main story quest. You'll need to get to the construction site during the day, but to do so you'll first need to equip a yellow construction helmet. Fast travel over to Urban Park, head into the municipal parking lot and talk to apparel clerk Gamora to purchase the hat for 2,000 zenny. Next, fast travel down to the training center and run back to the construction site. A cutscene with Ken will play, but you'll then need to fight this construction worker named Gus to proceed forward, because that's how construction sites work. Once you've defeated Gus, you can then use the stairs to ascend to the second floor where you'll re-encounter Ken. By now you know the drill. Approach him, speak to him, fight him, and then learn his style. E Honda, another world warrior, becomes available in Chapter 8-4 and is part of the main story quest called Big in Japan. Navigate west from Beat Square to find the Chenko House Edamon during the daytime. When you enter, Honda's introductory cutscene will play and then you'll be prompted to take a photo of him. Pull up your menu, select photo and then mission mode and take the snap. Once you do that, you can proceed to speak with the Sumo Master and he'll teach you what you want to know. The interesting thing here is that learning from Honda also unlocks the ability to travel to Japan where you'll find Master Ryu thereafter. Head to the newly unlocked Genbu Temple from your world map. Ryu will be there meditating and like with Honda, you'll need to snap a mission mode photo of him. With that out of the way, you can interrupt his meditation by talking to him and acquire his style. Jamie also becomes accessible once you reach Chapter 8-4, but you'll need it to be nighttime in order to find him. There's a hangout just west of Beat Square where you can sleep until the sun goes down. Head to Beach Street Hong Hu Men area either by foot or by fast travel and navigate to this series of ladders that will take you up to where Jamie awaits on a rooftop. All you have to do is talk with him, and he'll then share his drink and teach you his moves. Kimberly unlocks upon starting Chapter 8-7 as part of the High Flying Man main story quest, and like Jamie, must also be accessed at night. She's hanging out on a rooftop not far from Beat Square, which you can access via these ladders. Talk to her, watch your parkour filled cutscene, and that's all you have to do to learn her techniques. Guile also unlocks at the start of 8-7, but opposite Kimberly must be accessed during the day. While wearing the Siren lab coat, head south of Beat Square towards the construction site and speak with an NPC security guard named Jonathan. He'll tell you to next go to the Grace Marina, which you can access most easily by fast traveling to the training center. Head out onto the Grace Marina Pier and speak with this NPC named Curtis, who will grant you access to the aircraft carrier Byron Taylor. There you'll discover the military is dealing with a drone problem, and once you solve it for them by beating up said drones, you'll run into Guile. Guess what happens if you walk up and speak with him? Wrong. Nothing. But if you speak with him twice, he'll teach you his moves. 
reach chapter 9 too and you'll be able to find Zangief, but only if it's nighttime, so be sure to hit up the hangout if you need to. Fast travel over to Urban Park and speak to this NPC named you to initiate the hither and tither side quest. Next, go talk to Saul, an NPC on the other side of the arena stairs. Saul will tell you to fight you, which you should go do. When you win, Saul will then offer you a ticket to Russia. Use your world map to fly to the newly unlocked location, speak with Zangief, and then you'll learn how to pull off a few new fancy wrestling moves. Also available starting in 9-2 is the side quest Yoga Statue, which, spoilers, involves Dalsam. It's located at the southernmost part of the map, so fast travel down to the training center during the day and find this NPC named Anik, who will sell you a Yoga Statue for 7,000 zenny. Fast travel back to Beat Square, go to the hangout, and make it nighttime. Now, head back to visit Anik, who will think you're trying to trade Baxis, which, of course, is grounds for physical altercation. Defeating him grants you a ticket to India, where Dalsam awaits. After he saves you from an elephant, talk to him and he'll show you how to teleport and breathe fire. At the start of Chapter 12-1, a side quest called A Hard-Boiled Adventure opens up, which will lead you to Jury. However, it's impossible to complete this side quest until you've completed the first step of the main Chapter 12-1 storyline, as doing so unlocks the hangout in Old Nashal, where you can turn day into night. Once you've unlocked said hangout, head to the Central Bazaar in Old Nashal during the day and speak with the NPC named Govind to initiate this quest. He'll ask you to interview two other NPCs, the first of which is named Sandal, and the second of which is Kapana. After speaking with them, you'll need it to be night, so head over to this Nashal hangout and sleep until evening. Head to this location in the South Alley and you'll wind up in a fight with Govind, who turns out to be kind of a dick. Defeat him and Jury will spawn at night in this location here. Find and speak with her to initiate a fight. Afterwards, speak with her and select the dialogue choices that continue the conversation until she finally agrees to teach you her style. The final master in World Tour is, of course, JP, and you'll need to finish the main story before you can actually access him. Head to the hangout in the Central Bazaar in Old Nashal to turn day into night. Then, fast travel to the Suval Hall Arena entrance. JP awaits just behind where you spawn up some stairs. Speak with him, and he'll offer to teach you his techniques. And that's everybody. We hope you found this video helpful, and just so you know, there's a lot more helpful and entertaining Street Fighter VI content on our channel, including the stories of characters leading up into Street Fighter VI, gameplay analysis, speculation, theory, and more. I've been John Velociraptor Guerrero for Event Hubs. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.